Look at the channel here on NVIDIA. Maybe NVIDIA wakes up tomorrow, fingers crossed. Maybe Roku wakes up above this channel tomorrow, fingers crossed, right? Facebook, not horrible, right? Not horrible, it needs to confirm. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another uh, edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Happy Monday. Uh, so what's going on? Obviously, uh, the big story uh, over the weekend, if you watched the weekend video, I really loved uh, the stay-at-home shorts today. I really did. I, I, I came in, I was... I was, uh, you know, pretty good with my game plan. I was, you know, I knew the names that I wanted to sell. I saw the futures up 200 points uh, when I woke up. And then by the time I, you know, got washed up, came up upstairs, came the news that Moderna had their own uh, success rate with, um, with a vaccine. And as you can imagine, my whole game plan just went to, to hell in a handbasket very, very quickly, uh, pre-market. They just all got killed. Uh, Zoom, I loved. You know, obviously, I couldn't get a piece of. You know, there's no way, right? Um, Zoom was down like five percent pre-market. They they literally took down everything pre-market. Docu, uh, Zoom, Peloton. So literally, uh, my game plan was set ablaze, and it was you know it was done. That was you know that was the uh, the part of the day that I really liked. But unfortunately, again. You know, again, there's nothing you can do to combat news. Uh, again, congratulations for all you guys who did come in long, uh, some puts on Zoom. But again, unfortunately for me, uh, it just wasn't in the cards. I, I think what today really, um, what really showed us was that again, once your your window and your game plan is gone, okay, you have uh, several choices. Number one, you can you know feel sorry for yourself, which is there's absolutely no. Uh, no reason, because again, a game plan is just a game plan. Again, there's nobody uh, dying in your personal life. Nothing's happened. You just missed an opportunity. Okay, you can live with that. Uh, you have your second choice to start trading uh, random names, chart, you know, trying to uh, recapture some price action that's already happened, uh, or you can stay patient. Because again, the, the most important part of trading is you never know, right? You never know what's going to fall into your lap. Sometimes your window on the names that you trade are going to close. But again, there's opportunities somewhere that again, if they fit your your specific criteria, you can still muster up a day. And that was the most important part. If you look at uh, what happened when Pfizer announced their COVID results, what they did was they gapped up the market and they really killed a lot of the names, especially the NASDAQ names. And if you saw what happened today, pretty much throughout the day, and you, you see me kind of tweeting about it is, even though the NASDAQ 100, you look up and you say, look at the NDX and it was up, you know, 75 points. If you trade beta, you know, you know darn well, the only stocks that really participated for some of the day, and I can't even say most of the day, some of the day was like a name like Apple, right? Like name like Apple and a lot of the semiconductor names that already had big runs into supply. So we were really getting shut out. And, I, and I, it's so amazing that even though we, we missed our window, I was joking around on, on the Twitter feed today, and I said today was probably the biggest quantity of non-beta names that I think I ever, like literally I ever put into the feed. And they were all literally like either EV names, right? The electric vehicle names or some weird ass stocks I've never traded before. But I, like I, I've always said this, you know, you're not trading a stock. Like again, people, a lot of people have this misconception. You need to, you know, you need to trade Amazon to trade the PS60 theory. It's the furthest thing from the truth. You, any, I prefer to trade beta, right? I, I like these stocks because again, they're institutional driving vehicles, uh, no pun intended. But you can trade literally any, any vehicle, uh, Bitcoin, crypto, mid cap, small cap, whatever you want to trade, as long as there's a range, right? An expanded range uh, and volume, really big, aggressive volume, you can trade anything via pivots. And today was, was one of those days, like I put in like five or six of these weird symbols. And again, maybe some of you guys uh, traded them today uh, that had nothing to do with us. Um, maybe they're not weird to you, but they're definitely weird to me. Uh, and it really does show you, again, speculation money is really, really aggressive. Uh, what I don't like, what I saw, what I continue to kind of not see 
is, you know, is random, excuse me, as specific beta names not really participating. So for example, when you look at Amazon's chart, right? Yeah, third day in a row, literally third day in a row of lower highs. And if you're considering the, the NDX was up 75 points, the Dow was now up 470 points. It's amazing that Amazon was flat in the day. You look at Tesla, right? And again, there's some sellers that came in and there was some 490, uh, 370 weekly, weekly put buyers that came in. But again, they couldn't really take the stock down. And you can see here, they couldn't take the stock up. Um, Netflix, right? Even a name like Netflix, they say, you, you turn around and say, okay, look, enough's enough. Shouldn't the stock really start to participate? Is, 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 is their business really predicated on the stay at home factor? Probably not. But again, you can see the stock was weak. Baba continues to go lower. It's having a really, really uh, aggressive move down. Uh, Apple was the only one that really participated this morning. But again, when you look up, you know, it's part of the Dow, right? It's part of the Dow. It's part of the NASDAQ 100. And the stock was only uh, up a dollar, dollar. And you look at some of the other names that just did not participate. You have Twitter that was down. Uh, Zoom obviously down for, 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 for reasons. Uh, Roku, although it was up $4, if you look at Roku's chart, right? Roku's not, you know, it's not where we need it to be. And again, there's a level here that I like for tomorrow. There's a level I like on the video, for example, above here tomorrow, but they didn't fall into the sweet spot. So ironically, this was kind of one of those rallies today that we saw in the NDX. And of course, like I said before, the semiconductors were incredibly strong, right? If you go through the semiconductor names, you'll see, but a lot, most of the names in the semiconductor group, not named NVIDIA, AMD, Micron, most of the names are not tradable. They're very, very spready. They're, you know, like LRCX. People love LRCX, right? As a trading vehicle. You ever try to trade LRCX, right? Dollar spread, 100 share wide. Very, very tough, you know, very, very tough way uh, to make a living. So, you know, the, the ironic part about the day, again, we still continue to see uh, a huge disconnect bef between the Dow stocks uh, and the NASDAQ names. Again, you can see Boeing. Uh, obviously, you can see which one is leading the league, uh, leading, leading the league in, in scoring today. Uh, Boeing is just an absolute monster, a big way on the, uh, on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. But I think it's time, right? Right, guys? I think it's time for these beta names to wake up. I, I really do. And again, nobody's turning around and say tomorrow's going to be the day they're going to rotate out of the Dow stocks into the NASDAQ names. But can a brother get a little piece of the chicken as well, right? I'd like to you know, trade some of these beta names as well. Um, so I'm really, really hoping some rotation comes out of the Dow, goes into beta, because again, they might not all wake up, but if you start looking at charts little by little, maybe we are one day away for these NASDAQ names to wake up. Like I mentioned, NVIDIA might be a day away. Again, you can see the 60 minute view, right? Look at the chart. Look at the channel here on NVIDIA. Maybe NVIDIA wakes up tomorrow, fingers crossed. Maybe Roku wakes up above this channel tomorrow. Fingers crossed, right? Facebook, not horrible, right? Not horrible. It needs to confirm this channel. But you can see here, they're not there yet. And that's the point. We want to wait very, very patiently for these stocks to wake up. We, got, we want to see aggressive money option flow, at least out of the money option flow. Again, we're in the sweet spot uh, of the fourth quarter season. Come on, bulls. This is your time. You got to, you know, you got to get aggressive. You got to start buying. Again, we haven't really seen any deep out of the money calls on any of these names. So again, something needs to click, right? The, the Dow is either going to drag everything down and these names are weak. They're going to continue to be weak or the Dow is going to finally rotate out of the consumer cyclicals, out of the old school brick and mortars and go into technology. Again, if it's all the same to everybody, I would love to see a beta rally, something to spark these things. Because again, when they go and everybody knows, even if you don't trade the Amazons of the world, the Apples, the Facebooks, the Tesla, and the videos, they're feel good stocks, right? People love owning them. People love trading them. And then when they go, they really, really go. So let's talk about macro really, really quickly. Again, Qs are doing nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, led by the semiconductor, you can see first close above this little mini channel. You can see here a lot of room to the upside. Hello, beta. Look, look, right? Right, that's our cue. Go, right? So they're doing nothing wrong. Uh, if you look at the spies, right? Spies are want, want to test all time highs. So we're setting up here, guys. We're really, really setting up. But again, like we say every single time, when we have a game plan, we can't preempt the game plan. Like again, I had a game plan 
to short the stay-at-home names, and they all gap down 4 or 5%. Nothing you can do about it. But we can be prepared. So obviously, I am definitely watching beta for tomorrow. They might not confirm tomorrow, but at least, at least we have initial indication of interest from the queues taking out the previous channel and now we just need to see the money flow but i do like a lot of continue a lot of these uh, ev names as well and as i mentioned before and these are the pivots as i mentioned before there was a lot of non-pivot non-beta pivots today names that again i would usually not even look at but they were really really strong and the momentum continues uh, to name that group so uh r-i-d-e Again, I think they make like electronic, who the hell knows? Electronic roller skates, who the hell knows? But ride 1890, 19 needs to build. Look what this ride did, right? Look what this damn thing did. So here's the 1890, right? This whole area, this whole channel here. Oh, excuse me, right here, 1890. This whole 1890 channel, it takes out 1890. All the damn thing does is go, go to almost $23. I still like it tomorrow. Look, look you know, they, if they could trap shorts, on a really weak open and go green to red and take out this channel, this thing could go to 25, why not? I mean, this, this group is is ridiculously strong. KCAC was awesome, okay? When, when this thing finally confirmed that 1975-20 area, look at this move, man. Look, this was an absolute brilliant move. Um, I couldn't, I, I just, it was shocking how fast it went up. So here is the 19, hold on, where was it? 1975, oh, here it is right here. So, so it went red to green, 1975, it takes out the 20, right? And just absolutely explodes uh, to 21 and change. It was like a matter of minutes. So again, great job for all you guys uh, who caught that as well. I was shocked. Uh, my last sale was a 21. I was shocked uh, how how aggressive this damn thing was. Uh, FSR never got to the area where we needed to anyway. I forgot to put in the price. Uh, Amazon, th uh, 384, if it builds below, can flush. So it, it put in its initial move. It just never put in its second entry. Here's the 384 that I was looking at. It put its initial move uh, all the way down to 3072. It just never happened, never gave us a second entry. And this is why I'm saying, you know, maybe these things want to wake up. So never gave us a second entry on Amazon. Uh, Tesla obviously never got to 400. This is where I screwed up. This is the only trade that I really uh, screwed up. I, I knew there was a band there. And I knew it was going to bounce off the band for some reason. I had a mental fart and it went down, you know, I, I shorted the second entry. It, I, it went below 123, went down to 122 and change. I shorted the second entry at 22, only went down 50 cents. The problem is I knew there was support there on the five minute and I still took the trade. Yada, yada, yada. It cost me 90 cents. Again, not the end of the world, but the point is I shouldn't have done it. I had a brain fart. Again, it's going to happen to everybody. So again, deal with it. Uh, GP Monster. Again, you can see how many trade, how many pivots, and how many trades there were on non-beta names today. GP 1385 14 needs to build. Look at this GP did again. Another electric tractors, electric strollers. Who the hell knows what these things do already, right? But the point is, here is the whole uh, right here. Here is the whole uh, 13 1375 14 area. Stock went to seventeen dollars. Just just absolutely insane. Uh, TDOC 177 held three times of bills below can flush. Not a big move at all. Uh, again, they held up a lot of these uh, stay-at-home names. But again, here's the 377 went down to like three. Excuse me, 177 went down to like 175. Again, not a big name. It's it, it finished red on the day, but not a big move uh, whatsoever. Uh, Ride just went nuts. And, and look at this. We talked about the CELH. Uh, CELH on the weekend video. I was saying I just really, really like the setup. Uh, the problem for me was it was way too thin for me to take it, which is unfortunate because the stock absolutely exploded. Um, CELH, here was CELH. It took out the 33 level, uh, went all the way up to like 35 and a half. Again, we talked about this on the weekend video, just unfortunate. Uh, it was just way too, way too thin for me to navigate. Uh, in the video, I still like this 547 level, never got there. Uh, and yeah, this is kind of my, you know, this is kind of my, um, my comments, in, you know, in, in the middle of, in the middle of at lunchtime, I said, listen, stay patient. The scoreboard is bright, but it's very misleading. Tech is super weak. And at one point, the QQQs almost went red on the day. So just to give you an idea, but they did rebound and that's a good thing. So I would love to see rotation back, uh, into the queues, uh, into a lot of the beta names tomorrow. Would love to see one of these premium sessions with the Apples, with the NVIDIAs, with the Rokus of the world, Netflix, 
Tesla, right? God forbid. They've been kind of dead money uh, for the last like several, you know, three, four days. Again, you could catch a move, but the most important part is you have to catch a move uh, when they confirm. Uh, there was, and again, here's the beautiful, beautiful pivot. Again, that 1975, 20 still valid, really, really exploded. Uh, Beyond never got to that 28. Again, bingo. Again, that beautiful move on, on KCAC. And really, really nice trader here on um, Zoom. There was a sneaky pivot back to the upside. Uh, 291.50, 292 needs to build. This is literally the only beta pivot of the whole day, guys. Think about that. Really the only pivot that really confirmed second entry, everything involved. Uh, 291.50, 292, right? So here is Zoom. So here is the pivot on Zoom. 291.75 right here. Very, very sneaky pivot, 291.75, 292, and went all the way up to 399. Again, maybe it has one more day uh, to get going, so really good move on that as well. So again, I am definitely uh, bullish on the market, but again, I am much more hopeful. I think that's the best way. I'm much more hopeful there is going to be a rotation, fingers crossed, out of the blue chip names, out of the down names, and into beta. Well, again, we'll see. Don't guess. Let the market tell you if we're going to have that type of scenario. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.